Welcome to Zeston, where we've got two races coming up from the Marangoni Tires Production BMW Championship in association with Quick Fit. This incredibly popular and incredibly affordable championship has brought a bumper grid to Norfolk Circuit for a brace of races under beautiful June sunshine. And this is how they line up for race one with Mike Toby in pole position, Ben Winrow alongside him on the front row of the grid, Matthew Parks and Liam Crilly. Complete road soon. The red lights are on. The car's revs rise. Out they go. It's a good start for the white machine of Ben Winrow, although equally well away is the pole sitter. Last year's champion, Mike Toby, as we ride in car with Harry Goodman, accelerating on towards Riches for the first time. The car's immaculately prepared and really looking their best this weekend as they all clean make it through the first turn. But Riches may be a place they're gained. Harry Goodwin as he chases Alan Wildman in the multicolour machine. But it's Mike Toby, though, who leads the way. It's Matt Parks has come up to second. Ben Winrow in third. Stuart Waite fighting his way through, though, and he may just have snatched third from Winrow as the rest of the very sizable field surge through as we go three abreast into Palmer and squeezing through is Ben Winrow so he wrestles his way up into second position it's Parks then in third Stuart Waite in fourth he'll have to bide his time and Harry Goodman continues to sit in behind Alan Wildman the snatch break there that must be Liam Crilly whose all action style is always very entertaining it is Crilly as he tries to squeeze up the inside of Stuart Waite Jack Gabriel and Alan Wildman as well right ahead of Harry Goodman the race leaders though accelerating on towards Hamilton already Mike Tovey is just beginning to move a little bit clear of Ben Winrow in second position so Winrow the former Clare Cup champion has to get his head down and chase him down as bumping across the grass there Harry is Stuart Waite so that means he rejoins just in front of Alan Wildman and Harry Goodman also Miles Howard part of that group Wait though Gabriel looks around the outside at Williams that is going to be tight I think Wait though will have just snatched that place back off Jack Gabriel. They accelerate then along the Bentley straight in car with Harry Goodman. Are we going to be close enough to attack anybody this time round? I don't think we are, although fanning out a little bit ahead of them is that side by side between Wait and Gabriel. The first three cars though already out of Nelson, accelerating on towards the bomb hole. It's Toby from Winrow, then Parks, then Crilly in fourth position. Alan Wildman and Jack Gabriel running side by side into the ball hole. Brilliant move there from Alan Wildman. That was very nice opportunistic driving. He found the inside line at the bomb hole and through he went. As it's just a continuous stream of BMW 320Is. Meanwhile, the race leader, Mike Tovey, has been able to build up a buffer of probably three or so car lengths over Ben Winrow in the early stages of this race. They accelerate through and along the centre straight on to complete the lap and there is the advantage yeah about half a second or so from first to second with Matthew Parts doing a good job holding on in third it's enabling them as well to put a lot of daylight between themselves and Liam Crilly the drivers are leaning on those Marangoni tyres through Riches and then flat spotting them in the case of Ben Winrow into Montreal he slides the rear of the car as he looks to get as good an exit as possible from the hairpin which is no mean feat given just how long he was on the brakes on the way in so into Palmer and it's Tovey the Bristolian driver leading it from Ben Winrow and Matthew Parks. Now Stuart Waite is up on the tail of Liam Crilly. And is Stuart Waite going to be impatient here and try and thrust his way through? I think he could be because he is right up under the rear bumpers. We have a spin further back down the order. That's Aaron Morgan. And Aaron rejoins. Absolutely no harm done there. He is about to be passed, possibly though, by Lauren Can as we return to the battle for fourth position. And still, Crilly, Waite and Wildman very closely interlinked with Jack Gabriel in that very bright sky blue car just behind him. Accelerating on to the Bentley straight. And Stuart Waite's got an excellent run here on Liam Crilly. And Crilly's going to have to work very hard to hold his position here. Already he covers the inside line into Brundler's Wheat. Pick up the battle for second position. And still Matthew Parks pressurises Ben Winrope. He drops a wheel out over the kerb. And yes, Stuart Waite has found that move on Liam Crilly. So Stuart Waite elevates himself up into fourth position. And now sneaking through to fifth. Around the outside is Alan Warman. And Liam Crilly, though, keeps his footing on the inside line. Warman slides wide. That's going to enable Jack. Gabriel to squeeze through so Gabriel gains the place Harry Goodman probably the best position of all here he's got a little bit of daylight with himself for Miles Howard behind him because onto two wheels over the curbs in third position is Matthew Parks Harry Goodman will he repeat that two wheel trick no not quite but he does draw right onto the tail here of Alan Wildman he's going to have a good run along the centre straight already has to tuck out of the slipstream try to punch his hole through the air as he looks to challenge Wildman as this battle surges through completing another lap Mike Tovey well clear though at the head of the field from Winrow in second position 
Although, if anything, Winrow is just beginning to inch that gap downwards and still Matthew Parks giving as good as he gets in second place. So the three leaders running closely together and it really is a race of tenths between them now. And Parks having to be so consistent to stay in touch with really two of the Masters Saloon Car Racing, Mike Tovey and Ben Winrow, both of whom would be very, very deserving of seats in the British Touring Car Championship, in my opinion. Further back through the field, Brian Jones and Stephen Carter busy battling. It's Jones in the white machine. He's a local man from Norwich. And then Stephen Carter, ever present in the championship, alongside him as they head towards Palmer. Harry Goodman has been able to make ground on Jack Gabriel and Alan Wildman. So Goodman is just stealthily moving his way up through the field into the top six. Miles Howard closing in on to the tail now of the Gabriel and Wildman battle which heads onto the Bentley straight once more. Tovey and Winrow, that gap is coming down, but what about the slipstreaming? We've got plenty of it going on. Just look to the very, very back of your screen because Alan Wildman and Jack Gabriel... Well, it's Goodman and Gabriel the side by side. Wildman trying to squeeze through, and Gabriel looks around the outside of Harry Goodman, and that's a brilliant move from Jack Gabriel, the tr traditional Snesta manoeuvre, getting the slipstream along the Bentley straight. Wildman also trying to fight his way past, as is Miles Howard. This is going to be very tight into the bomb hole this time around, but they all make it through safely. And it really is a characteristic of the Marangoni Tires production BMW Championship that driving standards are so good. Contact is very, very rare. Goodman fighting the wheel through Coram Kerr, particularly as the corner just begins to tighten. That then brings Alan Wildman back up onto his tail with their Miles Howard and Simon Glenn. Also Alex Green not too far back. Green is easily identifiable. He's in the bright orange car as Matt Swaffer runs very wide out over the grass and that's going to enable Mark Palmer in the white car to possibly gain the place in him as Winrow closes up here onto the tail of Mike Toby. And Winrow could have just been managing this race perfectly and leaving it towards the latter stages before really putting that pressure onto Mike Tovey. Maybe he's just managed those tyres a little bit better. Maybe he's letting the car and the track come towards him as the Gabriel, Goodman, Wildman, Howard, Glenn and Green battle continues a place. Locked break, snatch break. As contact between Carter and Brian Jones. And just as I was saying, it's very rare to see contact. The exception to prove the rule. I don't think that was malicious there from Stephen Carter, one of many drivers in this race has just been caught out by the braking zone into the Montreal hairpin. So it's now Alan Warman who has got Miles Howard up onto his tail. They accelerate out of Hamilton. Simon Glenn also looking to try and look for an opening in Twoggies. Instead, he snatches a break. It shows just how hard these drivers are pushing as they now need a very clean exit from Williams because that then brings them onto the longest straight here at the Sneston Circuit, the Bentley Straight. Good run down there into Brunton Nelson can potentially yield an overtaking opportunity. Don't think that any of this group are quite close enough to find a way past on this occasion. No, they're not, so they continue to run. Line of Stern fashion in this battle for sixth position, currently headed up by Jack Gabriel. It's been a mistake from Miles Howard and Alan Wildman on the exit of Nelson. That's going to enable Simon Glenn to go through in the silver car. So it's Simon Glenn who gains the places, turning through the bomb hole. Also, Alex Green, I think Wildman could have a problem there. He really seems to be ailing a little bit so Warman in trouble something's obviously gone wrong with the car as Harry Goodman is once more up onto the tail of Jack Gabriel exiting Murray's and along the centre straight as the leaders are running together accelerating on towards Riches and this is Winrow's opportunity he's trying he snatches a break and he slides the car he goes off onto the grass and Ben Winrow is trying so hard to take the lead away and that's a very uncharacteristic error from Ben. It enables Matthew Parks then to jump up into second position. Winrow, though, holds on to third. The car didn't go around. It just slithered onto the grass. And he was trying so hard to make that move. It means that this man, Mike Toby, leads the race and is looking as we move towards the closing stages as if he is going to have a largely unopposed run to the checkered flag here. Unlike Jack Gabriel, who's got Harry Cookman as ever right up onto his tail a wonderful shot there of harry in his rear view mirror just eyes fixed on the road ahead fully concentrated on the job and single assertive turn of the wheel into the left hander at palmer so he didn't get quite as good a run through palmer as jack gabriel who's able 
to move weight ever so slightly as out of Nelson for the final time then comes the race leader Mike Tovey and it looks like it's going to be a lights to flag victory here for Mike second place Matthew Parks third place Ben Winrow but what about the Goodman and Gabriel Valve because Harry Goodman has really closed in on Jack Gabriel over the second half of this final lap and he's right onto Gabriel's tail accelerating into the bomb hole using the camber to his favour Harry Goodman now can he move up the inside line in towards Coram Curve here He's close, I don't think he's going to be quite close enough to make the move successfully on Jack Gabriel who slides the rear of his car out of Coram Curve into Murray's very, very tight between Goodman and Gabriel but Gabriel's got the legs and Harry Goodman maybe that's conceding defeat as Mike Tovey claims an excellent victory, second place to Matthew Parks and third place to Ben Winrow as Gabriel did just hold on from Harry Goodman at the line. What a race that was from the BMW. So it's the win for Toby. Second place, Matthew Parks. Third place, Ben Winrow. Fourth, Liam Crilly. Fifth, Jack Gabriel. And Harry Goodman completing the top six. Three very happy drivers then receiving the trophies from Simon from MSVR on the podium. You, you almost had my, you, you pushed very hard into Richard on the last lap. What happened? You know what? Um, I mean, we've been struggling all day uh, with the brakes on the car, to be honest. It's a, it's a real beast to drive at the minute. Uh, we're constantly tapping the, uh, the brakes uh, with the left foot to try and keep the pads engaged. So, um, yeah, uh, something was going to have to go wrong at some point. It's a shame it was the last lap. Even so, you were able to hold on for third position, so it's another podium, more points. Yeah, you know, it's not too bad. We're here for the wins, though, so we'll see if we can get it sorted and see what this afternoon brings. Well, let's see. Join us after the break for more action from Snetterton.